We're starting with the alert for tonight, weather-wise. Starting this afternoon and shifting eastward through dinner in the evening time, a small but powerful patch of storm potential is going to let loose at some point along this evening's track. Eyes on it if you live nearby. We had two large quakes worth mentioning. Both were blood echoes with the bigger one hitting magnitude 7 in Papua. Another at the same low velocity zone depth across the water in Chile. Well folks, the aesthetic wonder of today comes from the ESA Solar Orbiter. Its first shots of the sun are indeed quite good, and they include a number of wavelength views for full space weather and solar wind analysis. Their top shot is the close-up here. It's only a few minutes long of capture and indeed is looped over and over, which is why it appears to jerk back every other moment. But we're panning across the looping field here, seeing the zoom power available with its camera. Very wide capture but with high detail. Up next, let's look at the global methane release product. This shows a full year of methane tracking via satellite, and interestingly, I expected either the major cities or melting permafrost to provide the largest concentrations of the gas, but that's not the case. The sharp mountain interface regions in India and China, which is not where their major industries can be found, appear to deliver the bulk of the methane released. Even the unindustrialized parts of Africa are making considerable contributions. Interesting. Good chance to square up logic on Fukushima right here. They are confirming that the initial release via containment failure and explosions back in 2011 did indeed have plutonium. We all got dosed. It happened in about three weeks and it's a major lesson moving forward. But the current Fuku fear is unfounded and a bit ridiculous. What's left is less radiation. It's slowly leaking out. It's not going into the atmosphere and accumulating on the surface, but is spread throughout the depth of the ocean. Most fish will never see a speck of that radiation. Life is thriving around the Fukushima plant, and the real concern is the vulnerability of these facilities as the sun and earth begin to turn on their tenants over the coming decades. Up next, how about a weather modification plan that doesn't involve poisoning the environment? They believe that they can induce artificial landfall and hurricane weakening by using submarines to churn cooler water from below up to the surface. Now I really don't like messing with any of Mother Nature's processes, but if it's this or spraying the sky, I say periscope up and dive. Up next, a quick note that cosmic microwave analysis we shared yesterday was also used to quote, confirm the preposterous age of the universe at 13.8 billion years. We often mention the 14 billion year old Methuselah star as being a major problem for that story, and indeed, we are also finding out today that their observations of galactic nuclei continue to challenge that story as well. I am not sure if a 14 billion year old star 200 light years away is more of an issue, or the continued finding of early structure that breaks those Big Bang rules, but this clinging to the universe age is becoming utterly nonsensical. And to help alleviate the confusion of said nonsense, Dr. Robitaille has been on a tear. His latest in the amazing series on the Planck satellite imagery data is one of the most epic scientific investigations in the history of science. His latest was released yesterday over at the Sky Scholar channel, and it's in your link list below the video today. Lastly, on the article front, they are guessing that a star intruded into the nearby space of what they think is a black hole and it blinked. Their stabs in the dark notwithstanding, this is a real mystery. All they know is that these changes should take millions of years, but it had a 10,000x brightness change in one year, with a hundredfold change in just eight hours. Folks, this is a major galactic event like nobody has ever seen before. I'm sort of happy it happened far away from our galaxy.